The story we're reading today is called Sometimes I'm Bombaloo by Rachel Vale, illustrated by Yumi Hio. This is a story about when you have some big feelings and things that help you feel better. Sometimes I'm Bombaloo by Rachel Vale, illustrated by Yumi Hio. My name is Katie Honors, and I'm a really good kid. I smile a lot because usually I'm happy, and I give excellent hugs. I brush my teeth without being reminded too much. I can Velcro my own shoes and put my toys where they belong, including the ones with 60, 48 small pieces. I remember about using my napkin and the magic word. I don't whine or stamp my feet or growl. Even if my brother knocks down my beautiful castle I just built and I told him not to touch it and I'll never be able to get it to look that good again. Sometimes I can hold in the tears and the pushes and just say, that's okay. But sometimes I'm Bombaloo. I show my teeth and make fierce noises. My face scrunches tight like a monster's. I use my feet and my fists instead of my words. My toys end up all over the floor, and so does my brother. There's a lot of yelling when I'm Bombaloo and some pointing at my bed. I have to go take some time for myself and think about it. But when I'm Bombaloo, I don't want to think about it. I want to smash stuff. I can come out when I'm ready to control myself and say sorry to my brother. But while I'm Bombaloo, I'm not sorry. I'm angry. I hate everybody and everything, even my dog Vanilla, and my penny collection, and my blankie, and my mom, and all the clothes in my drawer. On their way out of the drawer, a pair of underpants lands on my head like a hat. When I laugh, I'm Katie Honors again. And I'm sorry and a little frightened. It's scary being Bombaloo. My mother knows that. She hugs me and helps me clean up the mess Bombaloo made, and then after some sorries and kisses for my brother, we build a new castle together. The end.